Hey, what's up everyone? The Pretty Reckless with a song called You, and this is for Valerie Wooten. Yeah, someone in my neck of the woods. You know Sadie, right, Valerie? Something like that? Anyways, you want to tune standard for this? A um, lot of repetition in it, so this is pretty much how most of the song goes. I'm, I'll, pl I'll play it for you first, and then we're going to dig into it. The strap is screwed up. So uh, I gotta explain it from back here. Okay, here we go. Okay, so, oh, by the way, was this a half step down? I think it was. Yeah, you want to tune flat. So, um, if you want to play along with them, you want to tune flat. If you're just going to sing it and play it by yourself, you can keep in standard tuning. Um, I hope I have the order right on one part, because there's a part that's like... But anyways, here we go. G major, open position chord, that's our starting chord, 3E. 2A, 3B, and 3 on the high E. So there you go. It's G major. Um, if you're not super confident on your chords, check them individually. Always. Like... Because you may have this hat problem. Like a muted string. That you won't hear if you necessarily strum it. So, um, Don't overanalyze this on the strum. What's happening is, basically, they're playing the top two strings, the low E and the A and then strum all of them after that and then go up down up so two strings down on all up down up okay and then just repeat that that was three times then when the change up comes it's um, top two strings down up and then on this one Get rid of your middle and your index, go to 2 on the low E, and this time you want to purposely mute the A string. So if you individualize this chord, played it as an arpeggio or picking, you'd have... See, normally you don't want muted notes, this time you do. Um, hit the top string, and then down up on all of them. So, And then um, this next chord is E minor 7. Keep your pinky and third finger here the whole time. Go 2A with your first finger and 2D with your middle. And then um, it's the same strum like we did on the G major and the, on the intro here three times. So top two strings and then down on all of them and then up, down, up. So. And then hit the top two. Go down, up on all of them. And then go back to this one. The two on the low E, muted A, these stay put. Go top string, and then down up. And then you start the whole progression over. So you're dealing with... Those are your chord shapes in order, so... change up is this. It's the same chords, but it's played differently. The bass melody is changing quicker. So you go to the G major chord again, um, hit the top two, and then strum all of them down up. Then we go to the second fret low E, muted A, remember that one? Same thing, top string, down up all of them. Then we go to the E minor 7 again, do the same thing. And then back to this one where we did the F sharp, fret 2 here. And then same thing there. So it's... And then the next chord is the E minor 7, three times.
try and pull out the bass note, or you're not going to hear the change, you know, like... Listen for that in this. Okay, so if you have any questions, let me know. And Valerie, you're, I think, on my Facebook, so... I um, mean, read my description, all you guys, if you want to add me on Facebook, you're not going to bother me, no problem. Um, but if you do have questions, let me know, okay? My email, mike at rockandguitarlessons.com. Also, my website is rockandguitarlessons.com. There's the temporary one up right now. Within the month, it, we'll have the official website going. Yes, been a long journey, huh? And I'm hoping to meet you guys over there. It's very affordable. And um, if you're interested in some personalized lessons, I teach on Skype. And uh, my Skype contact name is Rockin' Guitar Lessons. For guitar, bass, or for singing, my wife teaches people how to sing. Um, it's $59 an hour, $34 for a half an hour. If you go to the website right now, rockinguitarlessons.com, there's a page um, dedicated to just the Skype and explaining how it works. Um, what you need for it and all that. It's really simple. And it also has a price breakdown. If you pay for the month, it's a little bit cheaper. Um, my PayPal email is tvxpunk at aol.com if you'd like to make a donation to this channel. And if you can't, don't sweat it. Not a problem. Just take my videos. There's always things you can do if you want. You know, put them on your Facebook. Which, Valerie, I'll probably stick this right on your Facebook. But then you take it and put it on all your friends' Facebook. Plus, I gave you a shout-out. So you could be like, yeah, that's me. So, um, anyways, um, I do have an Ultimate Beginner's Guide DVD. They're on back order. I've got to get more printed. Um, if you're interested, hit me up. All this is in my description if you read it. I think I hit everything. Make sure to subscribe to both channels, this one, as well as YouTube.com slash Rocking Guitar Lessons 2. And that's the In the Style of channel, which is really cool, um, that I opened, I don't know, six months ago. And I'm liking it because even though it's in the style of, um, it gives me that creative freedom. And I like to emulate different guitar players and bands, so it's like right up my alley. And it was a test run, and you guys are liking it, so cool. I'm, I got some more stuff uh, in this batch of lessons to go on the, in the style of. Alright guys, um, we'll talk to you later. Spread the word about Mike Gross, RockingGuitarLessons.com, these channels. And until next time, keep rocking, subgrouping this stuff, take your time. Anything worth doing is worth doing right. That's a principle that applies to everything in life. So enjoy the journey. Take your time so you can stand out from the, the crowd in the sense of that person put in a little more effort. That's a good thing. All right, guys. See you later. How's this song go again? Just kidding. melody that soon but that is the part it's a bit fallen before so this guitar is crap